Hey everybody, Mr. Fitz here, and I'm talking about page six and getting a good sound on your first three notes, which are D, C, and B flat. All right, so to begin with, just a quick review. When you're playing your trombone, you want to use a nice steady airstream with, with your lips buzzing at a nice firm band face. So, corners firm, all right, you bring the mouthpiece in place, breathe through the corners of your mouth, and you're buzzing your lips. So you have to use a lot of air. Use a lot of air, blow a lot of air through. Don't let your lips be too relaxed either. You don't want them to be going like this. You don't want to do that. So watch. The, uh, firm corners. Okay, that kind of sound is what you want to get, okay? Now, right now I want, want you to see Hopefully this was showing that, <laughs> yeah. I um, want you to look at the page. Notice that in line number one, we have the note D, which is fourth position, C, which is sixth position, and B flat, which is first position. Those are our first three notes, right? And we want to get a good solid sound on those. By the way, those numbers that are next with, those are for the baritone horn. That's the fingering if you play the baritone horn for those notes, okay? But for trombones, it's fourth position, sixth position first. What does this mean? All right. Fourth position is right here. Sixth position is here, and first position is here. So stop the video, rewind it if you need to. Try to match those pitches so you get that sound on your trombone, okay? Now, the next thing we want to be concerned with when we're playing page six is the beat, or the, the rhythm, rather, and we want to keep a steady beat. So notice in line number one, we have D, but it's a whole note. And then that little black rectangle thing, that is a whole rest, all right? And then it goes D again, and then another rest, another note, another rest, another note, another rest. So that whole line is gonna sound like this. Oh, and I'm tapping my foot, all right? So this is pretty key. Hopefully you can see my foot on the camera. I'm not sure if you'll be able to, okay? So that was line number one. Okay, now we're gonna go on to line number two and you'll notice the note is C. It's lower looking, it's into the space between the lines, okay? So while D is on the third line up, C is on the second space up, okay? And it's the same pattern of whole notes and whole rests, okay? So here goes line number two. I'll lower this a little more so you can make sure you can see my foot. to use lots of air okay lots of air is going to get you a good sound okay now uh, line number three as you can see now you have to be able to read these notes because they're not going to tell you what they are but hopefully you can see that they alternate between D first and then C then D and then C all right so here goes line number three one two ready go <laughs> And finally, we got one more note, which is B flat, which is played lower still. Notice how it's on the second line up, and it has a little flat symbol. That little thing that looks like a small B is actually the flat sign. Okay. Okay, so here it goes with line number four. One, two, ready, go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three.
three, four. Okay? Now, you want to get a good solid sound on your notes, okay? And use lots of air. Now, if we look at five, six, seven, what they're doing is they're mixing up all three notes. And you have to be able to tell which one they are, but it's not too hard if you look at what line or space the note is in or on, and you compare it to the notes in line number one, two, or four. Okay, so hopefully you can see what these are. <clears throat> if you have any trouble with that, just take your time and look back up to lines one, two, and four to match them up, okay? All right, so I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play line number six for you, all right? So it looks like it's a C, a B flat, a D, and a C. All right, so here goes. One, two, three, four. All right, so I'm going to let you figure out the other ones on that page. All right, have fun, practice hard on page six.